Okay, here we go. Hi everyone, I'm Fake Touched, and this is me playing games. And this should be the last playthrough of the fourth haunted hotel, Charles Dexter Ward. And Hot Punk is Hot Punk. In case you didn't know that. This is a game based on one of Lovecraft's short stories. And there is, in fact, spooky, un pleasant stuff in this game, but no Cthulhu, unfortunately, even though there is a Cthulhu in the thumbnail and a Cthulhu at the loading screen and all on all the stationery, etc. I'm not sure, maybe there'll be Cthulhu in the next one, who knows. I don't know if this one is related to any of the other ones or if they just retcon every time they do a new one. At any rate, let's continue on wherever it was we left off. Oh, right, we're in a, where were we, where were we before? This is, okay, so this was the last door we unlocked in the house. And this leads us to the library, which actually looks like it's in a tower. But I don't think it is. There's a skull up there. What do I have? I forget. I have a radio without batteries, matches, a pestle, a rope. Um, this is a sprayer of bug spray and a knife. So nothing I can hit that with yet. And there is a clock. Throw the knife. I don't think it's gonna let me, but let's try it. I don't think it's gonna let me. Nope. It's probably too heavy for, it's not like I'm a professional knife thrower. It's probably too heavy to knock it down anyway. Oh look, there's skeletons crawling all up this. That's actually pretty cool. That'd be a neat clock. Um, wow, I can't open the main thing. Ooh, another letter. Ooh, did I read this in the last one and then we stopped? I don't actually remember. Well, I'll read it again. People have been very reluctant to talk about Kerwin. One local called him a black soul. He said that animals got anxious when Kerwin was around. That Kerwin had dark eyes, practically pitch black. That's pretty cool. Another person said that Kerwin was only ever visited by the same three people from town and that they would sometimes deliver him large crates. I asked what happened to Kerwin in the end, expecting to hear that he had died of old age, but everyone said the same unbelievable thing. There was no old age. Kerwin looked exactly the same up until the last day locals saw him. Kerwin simply disappeared. No one saw him leave by the rail or road. The police found nothing at the hotel to clarify his departure. They boarded up the entrance and every one of them felt uneasy after visiting the place. Well, I have statements from the locals as they saw it. Now it's time to get to the truth of the matter for myself. G.S. I was just thinking the same thing. It kind of looks like a dog. Like there's its nose and this is its snout and that's its eyes, but that's not what it is. I have no idea what that is. It's not a skull. I don't know. Weird. We did not read that last time, just so people are keeping track. Let's see. Is that a mask? It is a mask. And a syringe. Huh. And a broom. And is that a paintbrush? You gonna tell me? Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. Ha! Nope, that's a screwdriver. I think I have my window up too high, but it's fine. Um, great. Now what? She asks rhetorically, did that give me anything I needed? No batteries. Screwdriver. I actually have no memory of what we were doing up until this point. <laughs> I'm good at this. Let's see. This is, this room's done. This is just the elevator and that just leads to the upstairs. This we have to distill something. I got matches. I could light this. I have to put all the ingredients in. Yeah, well, that makes sense, but I don't know what the ingredients are. Yeah, I still don't have anything for that. I don't think there's anything else down here. It's just the evaporation stuff. Okay, let's go up this way since we're here. Oh, we need to find the horn for the phonograph, which we still have not found. And I think... And what's this? There's something... There needs to be a microphone. We do not have a microphone. 
Okay, so nothing in there yet. Those doors are just closed. Which I guess means we can't open them ever? I don't know. This room I'm pretty sure we're completely done in. Yeah, this room's done. Oh, we have the attic! Uh, we needed a wrench for this though, didn't we? We didn't find a wrench, we found a screwdriver. Yeah, that's annoying. Huh. Okay. I don't think there's anything else in here either. Oh wait, what's that? Ooh, we missed this! There's the microphone! I didn't see that the f oh, I forgot to turn off my phone. Someday I'll remember to turn off my phone, guys. Okay. So, we still- oh, there's a- there's a phonograph right there we could take the horn from! Stupid game. There's a phone we could have taken a cord from, too, but whatever. Um, okay, so we need a wrench for this floor. Uh, we needed it for the radio in here. But I don't know why. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, wasn't there something about we have to broadcast music- well, or there has to be music playing while we do the ceremony. Why don't we just take the phonograph with us? Instead of trying to broadcast it, which I assume is what's happening? I actually don't know. Yeah, but the radio doesn't play music, so I, I don't quite understand that. Uh, we went in here. We were already in here. What was over here? Oh, we didn't go in here. This room was the dark room, and there's nothing else in here. Okay. So we need a wrench for the attic. We need a horn for the record player. It's on the first floor. I don't think there's anything in the kitchen. Nope, that green bottle looks sus though. I'm not sure why we don't get to pick that up. This is the room we were just in. And this is where, okay, we went around in a circle. Good. No, I don't want to go down there. Okay. So this is the library now. Did we get anything? No, this is all the same stuff. Okay, um... Oh wait, can I hit the skull with the broom? Yes! Ha ha! I, I don't know why I need a skull, but... Fountain! Oh! Right! The gargoyle in the front of the house needed a skull. Or something. I guess it's a skull. They didn't actually tell us. Aw, he's happy now! Wasn't that nice of us? And this must be for the clock up down here in the library. Doesn't this look like this should be the tower room, not on the first floor? Very weirdly designed house. Okay. Ooh, underground bestiary? Oh, interesting. Today I investigated the ground floor. One of the rooms turned out to be a library of sorts, but instead of the smell of books was the smell of something awful. It was so disgusting that I felt it was saturating my entire body. It reminded me of a story one of the locals told me. Erwin always hired the same three locals to run errands, and he paid them well, so they didn't ask questions. One night, one of these men was summoned to unload a train car and deliver the contents to Kerwin's hotel. It was filled with long wooden boxes, like coffins. The man said the boxes were stinking so badly he could barely stand it. He never found out what the smell was and left as soon as possible. He, he felt the urge, G.S., felt the urge to draw a picture of a train at the bottom, which, sure, why not? Well, this looks pleasant, doesn't it? Ew. Ooh, a saw. Yay. What's that? Red Dragon Manuscript. Life Force Elixir. Grind small bones into powder. Take one poisonous mushroom from the swamp. Cut a lock of hair from the subject. Evaporate ingredients and inject the distilled liquid into the bloodstream of the subject. Huh. This is a pretty detailed drawing for these to be the, the additional drawings. Those are not good. <laughs> Ooh, and a wrench! Yay! We might be closer to being done than I thought. Underground river. Yeah, I agree. I'm not going in there in the dark either. What's over here? What is that? Sealed container. Okay. 
That's a torch. Do I... I have matches. Does it need to have, like, fuel? Nope, I guess not. Ooh, and a cord! And we're not gonna look at the dead... I think that's a human skeleton in there. Okay. Um, I guess let's look in the underground mortuary. Ooh. Yeah, that doesn't look human. That looks like a demon or something. It's a hand. Oh, I guess I don't want to go in there. I mean, I don't, but... Scissors. We're not gonna see what's under there, huh? Yeah, I don't blame you. Why is there a coat hanger in here? That's kind of disturbing. Okay. I've searched the yard and surrounding area. I found sculptures of strange monster-like beasts, creatures not found within the laws of nature. I consider myself to be pretty brave, but somehow those things made my skin crawl and I wanted to get away. I was able, also able to find proof of a story I heard in town. I was told that one night people in town woke up to the sound of strange, disordered, distorted screams. Some took up weapons and headed out. They found prints in the mud similar to a human foot, but somehow unnatural. The tracks seemed to head towards Kerwin's property. The locals wanted to follow them, but were too afraid. I actually found some of these tracks myself. I can't say whether they were human or animal, or something else. If those are the tracks, and you don't know they're not human, then you have an issue. Unless you think those might be handprints, and then maybe. And yeah, no, he has never seen a gargoyle. Ooh. A vial from the Necronomicon to hold the dead water. And I think this is, uh... Yeah, look, it's a, um, it's a tart burner. For those who have candle things. What is supposed to go with that? I guess whatever is supposed to burn in it. Yeah, nope, not gonna look under the sheet. I'm fine with that, I guess. Okay, underground river. Oh, this is pretty cool. Definitely your lair should have one of these if you are an evil bad guy. What is that? That's a flashlight, but I just took the batteries. I'm taking more bones. Why am I collecting a skeleton? Oh no, I'm not. I already gave the head away. I forgot. I need something longer than my arm to grab the bucket. Metal hanger? I didn't think so. Coffin lid? Why did I take the coffin lid? Oh. Stolen arm. Yeah, I, I got that eventually, but like... Why did I take the coffin lid? It's hard to believe, but it looks like I'm under the lake. Oh, that's even cooler! You have a lake by your secret lair, and then you put skylights inside the cave that are under the water. Surfing? No, we're not surfing. Oh, okay. Is this a match game? Ugh. All right. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Damn it. I already forgot where that one was. Um... Dang it, not damn it. Trying to not to curse. I am way better at these when they are pictures instead of letters because I'm dyslexic. What is that nonsense? Not okay. Ugh. Yeah, no, that's not nice. Not okay. I hate this game now. It's official. Be interesting to see if I'm clicking where they used to be because I'm sort of remembering where they used to be. Or if I'm just randomly clicking because I'm irritated. <sighs> you know, these games are bad enough without making them harder. I played the demo of a game last night and it had puzzles that weren't 
fun, and were hard. Which really defeats the point of playing them at all. For a minute, I thought they were gonna make me do it again. Oh, secret passage. Okay, cool. Let's see. I need to put this somewhere. Where do I put this? All right. Let's look at you. I need some of your hair. Where? I got little scissors. There we go. Okay. I need. Oh, that's down to one day. Someplace kind of sound source. So I can't- I am putting the- the record player there. I'm so confused. Place the aroma lamp, okay. Oh, I don't have anything in it yet. Never mind. Alright, cemetery? Oh, this is new. Ugh. I hate mosquitoes so much. I did yard work this week, and I put on bug spray, and I still got eaten alive. I have like 10 mosquito bites, and I was wearing long, long, long sleeve pants. Yeah, that's it. I was wearing pants, not shorts, too. What did I just pick? Oh, that must be part of the recipe. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, what? All right, we're gonna read the message for this first. I was attacked by a murder of crows. They started pecking at me, they seeming to target my eyes. I covered my head and ran. Well, that's pleasant. Unfortunately, I took the wrong path. I came to a cemetery. Locals had told me about the place, which was abandoned when a flood ruined the church. They were afraid to visit it because someone had started to dig up the graves and steal bodies. Now I saw it with my own eyes. Excavated graves, monuments moved aside, and I saw something else that made my heart stop. From within one of the graves, a black shadow was rising. The same shadow I saw in the hotel. I had convinced myself it was a trick of my mind, but it was real, and it was moving towards me. I must have lost consciousness because I awoke later and began running like a madman. I didn't care if I sank into the swamp. I must collect all of Kerwin's papers and get out of here before it's too late. G.S. Why did he have to draw something over top of the writing? That's... You could have put it up here. And there's a... Onograph horn. Let's see. Old church. Let's go to the old church first. Well, that definitely got ruined in a flood. He was not long, wrong. Ugh, it smells terrible. I need something to cover my nose and mouth so I can keep looking around. That's fair. Uh, where's the mask? There we go. Oh, another letter. I'm in a trap. Darkness prevents all escape. Sometimes I wonder if I've gone insane. The sky has become a dark shroud, moaning from below. I try to shake it from my mind. Darkness confronted me in the hallway, yet I hardly ran away. I intended to escape via the same road I arrived by, but Oh, wait, I arrived by. Trees swung their branches as if trying to strike me. Rain practically pressed me to the ground, and the darkness was there, too. I think that it's Corwin himself, his spirit. Unfortunately, I've lost some notes from my diary. I think the only way out is to try to reach Corwin's swamp house, where I can make a defense talisman. I found instructions in one of Corwin's books. Corwin, not Corwin. Now I'm certain that the darkness is trying to kill me. I may soon become the victim of its evil that bears the name John Kerwin. And there's the little talisman thing. Oh, that's what we needed the coffin lid for. It's a creepy mushroom. I'm not carrying that stinky thing around in my pocket. <gasps> the stuff's in his pocket. You guys don't understand how important that is. Because in the original King's Quest, back in the very, very olden days of video games, the character didn't have a backpack or anything. He would put everything in his pocket, and he said, I put it in my pocket, even if it was this giant thing. And because of that, when I play Minecraft, I change the keyboard um, keys so that the inventory is P for pocket. 
because if it stays E for equipment, I hit it all the time while I'm moving around. But my family disagrees that P for pocket is not correct for inventory. But see, that's two games that agree with me. P is for pocket. I will die on this hill. Okay, we've captured the mushroom in a little box, which is cute. And I'm still right. I read about that flooded church in some of Kerwin's old papers. Is that all we need here? I guess so. Okay. Wait, what was that? I need some of those leaves to make oil. Okay. Do the thing. Axel? I mean, I don't know why you don't just pick them. Knife, I guess. Yeah, that makes more sense than an Axel. <laughs> you could just pull them off, though, I bet. Oh, this is that thing for the picture. It totally looks like I should get near that, doesn't it? Are you serious? There's a branch just above that thing. Maybe I can lower a bucket to collect some of the water. I don't think it'll work, but I certainly wouldn't stick my hand in there. All right, where's the rope? Come on, bucket. We're going this way. There we go. Okay. Well, I was disappointing. Why didn't it try to eat me? Boy. This game is not nearly as scary as it could be. All right, I got some water. The animation budget ran out. Could be, it's almost the end of the game. Um, they don't have a lot of animation in this game, to be fair. Crypt basement. I didn't need to go back in here, did I? Oh no, that's where I need to go. Okay. I knew that. Um, I have less than a day to save my brother. Right, that's the music. Oh, I have to go back to the house to do all the things. What was that? That's the underground river. That's the underground mortuary was what I was thinking of. We don't need anything else in here. Nope, okay. And we're done in here as well. Yep, good, okay. Can we do everything in here? Yep. So now we need to go to the basement and distill the ingredients. Let's see, what were the ingredients? Place a radio near Charles. What? Oh, I understand. I don't know why they're doing that. Okay. Some of these things are for one thing and some of these things are for the other. It's just which. I guess I'll just click on stuff and if it works, it works. All right, let's try dead water. Okay, that must be for the other thing. Leaves. Oh, I need to, um, oh, crud. Clicked off the thing again. I need to use the pestle first. Let go. There we go. And the berries, maybe? Yep, okay. Bones, too? Nope, not the bones. Uh, hair. Was the hair one of the things? Nope, okay. And the mushroom? That's for the other thing it must be. In later games, you would have a journal and you could look in the journal and see what the last bit of text and stuff said, which is extremely helpful. I'm guessing they'll probably start that for the next game. Yum, that looks delicious. Okay. Wait, oil, do I put that in there? No, that doesn't have a plus sign. That doesn't have- oh, the- wait, no, batteries have a plus sign? That's not gonna help. Huh. Do I just put that in the diffuser? I know batteries go in the radio. I'm not doing that part right now. Okay, that just goes straight into the diffuser. Okay. Ah! Gosh darn it! Why do- do I have this window in a weird spot that I don't normally do? Sheesh. Okay. Gosh darn it! <laughs> I 
curse like Yosemite Sam. I apologize. So the dead water doesn't go in here? Huh. Okay, well, I got the old Roma lamp. Let's put the batteries in the radio so that Hot Punk doesn't get annoyed by them. All right, let's go back upstairs because we need to do some other things too. Okay, for example, we need to put the horn on the phonograph. Now, oh, it's an electric one. That's why we can't bring it with us. What the heck do you have an electric phonograph back in whatever time period this is? Electric phonographs are for like hipsters that want to pretend they're old fashioned. Do you hear that? Okay, now I hear it better. Huh, okay. Um, what else do I have? I think there's talking too, but I can't really hear it. All right, what else do I need to do? Oh, I need to um, open that window in the attic for some reason. I'm not sure why. to go out on the roof. Oh, it's flat. Before I can unscrew it, I need to make a groove for the screwdriver with the hacksaw. That would take um, a long time. Now I can unscrew the bolts. Yeah, it would be really hard to uh, cut a a groove in a bolt made of, I assume, stainless steel, iron. I need a screw and a wrench. I don't think I have a screw. Oh, wait, I do. Where did I get that from? Oh, I just took it out, but it didn't have a head on it. Also, there's no way you're going to be able to get a screwdriver between that um, bar and the screw. Okay, use the wrench. That makes sense. I guess that's for the radio. I guess. My investigation has begun. Everyone around here is frightened and intrigued by the mysterious hotel in the swamp. And so I set out to satisfy the curiosity of my readers. Information is spotty at best. According to stories, John Kerwin moved to this area. The official town archive actually notes someone of this name a couple hundred years ago. This must be a mistake or an ancestor of the modern Kerwin. Bought a hotel deep in the swamp and lived there. Kerwin also apparently owned a small railway company. He was essentially a hermit, but he gave some money to local charities. No one ever really seemed to see Kerwin in public. He didn't seem to act like a rich man. No one really knew what his railway com company transported either. The only thing people seem to agree on is that he was shrouded in an aura of something sinister. Stop drawing pictures over the words. G.S. So this is the first entry. Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? Back in this period of time. All right, I guess that's all we're doing on the roof is fixing the antenna, which I guess if we're trying to broadcast something makes sense. Okay, and this was the study. That's with the dark room. Yeah, we're done in there. So we're done at this end of the universe. Okay. What else do we have here? We have matches, a syringe, a metal hanger for some reason. Small bones, dead water. All right, let's go back to the basement. Everything else in the library? No. All right, why isn't it letting me do this? Let's see, do I have to pour it in over here? We'll try that twice. This contraption, this is a contraption to evaporate ingredients. I know. I mean, I think this is the ingredients. At least I'm not giving up. What does it say? Place a Roman amp, aroma lamp near Charles. Place a radio near Charles. Grind the small bones into powder. Oh, okay. I do have to grind the bones. Where's the pestle now? Where's the mortar and pestle? 
How do I grind them if I don't have that anymore? Huh. They don't have pluses on them, though. So maybe I have to do that in a different room. Let's go back to the new area. <laughs> well, we're going to try a little harder than that. But yeah, no, it does kind of appear we're stuck. I don't know why it didn't let me use the mortar and pestle more than once. Since I need to do that. Can't do anything in here. That's the cemetery. Maybe we're that way. Okay, let's well let's put the aroma lamp where it goes. That's one less thing in my inventory. There we go. Okay. And the radio goes over here. It won't receive a signal down here until I attach some- oh, it's an antenna. That's what this is for. I still don't think that would work. We're pretty deep underground at this point. Uh, okay, I need to light the aroma lamp. Okay. Oh. Sprinkle dead water on his face. Gross. Now I have to combine these ingredients in the thing. I'm not crazy. All right, let's get a hint here. Use the grinder in the shed. What shed? Oh, the swamp house. I forgot about that. Wait, can I get there? Can I leave a different way? How do I get out of here not going through there? Oh no, the swamp was on this end of things. How do we get there? I forget. Oh, okay. I mean, the swamp house had a grinder too. But you're right, there is a shed. I completely forgot it existed. Oh, that kind of grinder. That would add some spice to your coffee, wouldn't it? All right, do I need to grind like the hair and stuff too? No? Okay. What about the mushroom? Nope, I guess I just need to grind the one thing. Okay. Thank you, Op Punk. You have a better memory than I do, apparently. When it comes to bizarre things, anyways. I'm going the wrong way. Good job, me. There we go. I'm kind of hoping the next game also has a map for quick traveling. Puzzle games are the bestest. Okay, so now that should go in there. And that should, I don't know why I didn't have to grind that. And that should go in there. And this should go in there? No? Okay. Oops. And we like this. I don't think that's how that works. I need a syringe. Yes. Yes, we, we did just boil a whole mushroom. And we weren't even boiling it. There was no water in there. We were burning it. I mean, maybe it melted or something. I'm not entirely sure how they thought that was going to work. Okay, so now all we have left is a syringe and the dead water. I don't know why we... Wait, stop that. Okay. I don't know why we still have the dead water. We already used it. We did lose our knife. We had it the whole game. Okay. I need to sprinkle dead water. I did that already. Oh, that was creepy. <laughs> We have to get out of this place. Good plan. A few hours later. Oh, here we go. Get ready, Charles. We're getting out of this place as soon as possible. The police are coming. Pretty soon, we'll be away from all this darkness. Here's your chain, by the way. Three days have passed. What are you 
you talking about? What's that you're carving? Charles? What is that? You've been through a lot. You just need to rest. Invocation. Oil. Water. Elixir. The ritual has been fulfilled. Oh dear. No. Please, Charles. Just forget about these letters. It's not just letters. It's a sign. Our new sign. Well, that didn't go as planned, did it? If any of the people watching this have ever read that particular short story, you'll have to tell us if it ends the same. Well, I guess the moral is don't read the Necronomicon and then do what it says without actually understanding what it is. It's probably a good moral. We, we, we should not be reading the ne Necronomicon. I'm pretty sure that's, that's a good plan. This did, in fact. Well, I guess he doesn't need it anymore, Amber. I, I, I guess that uh, if this has a part two, it will be a completely different story. <laughs> huh. This one definitely had a plot, though. It, some of it didn't make a lot of sense, but it made a heck of a lot more sense than the um, original Haunted Hotel plot from the first three games. <laughs> How long have we been playing? We've only been playing for 40 minutes. We could do the demo of the, of the fifth one. Yeah, the time traveling hotel was more unique. This was very typical spooky horror nonsense stuff. Not entirely sure. Yep, well, that's the it. What do we have for extras? This one has extras. That's the first one. Extra gameplay! Ooh! Oh, maybe we'll do this then. My favorite part was the water wheel zoom. The water wheel zoom was the best part. Without a doubt. Let's see what this is. Oh, we're in the basement again. Thank you for all your help. Everything happened just as I planned. In this body, I will have be even more powerful. Wait here, I have plans for you. Oh, he didn't kill her. What have I done? I completed the ritual myself. Now my brother is gone. Yeah, it was kind of dumb, lady. I did warn you not to uh, read the Necronomicon, though. So that's all you. That's creepy. All right. Bell. Mixer. I used to have an old egg beater like that. Um, roller skate. Die. Oh, there it is. Can opener. Screwdriver. Uh, what else? Oh, there it is. Key. Key. Padlock. Slug, I just saw. Somebody squashed a slug on our porch this morning. <laughs> so gross. Lighter, coin, yeah, not pleasant. I don't know why they insist on climbing on the porch. There's no food up there. Uh, spool. I was thinking of a different kind of spool. Screwdriver. Too bad we got rid of our knife. Though he probably would have taken it from us. Uh, the elevator is closed. Only way to get out of here is to open the gate. Oh, remember I said that that looked important? I was right. It just was for the extra game. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter where I point. That's the Cthulhu from the loading screen and all the stationery. Let's see. Are we just supposed to? Huh. Um. Oh. Oh. Poo. 
I do believe we just had a discussion about how much I don't like these puzzles. Oh, that one doesn't move. Of course. That one doesn't move either. I'm in the butt. Bloody hell. Eat these. No, seriously, I hate these. It's not as bad as the one where there's only eight pieces on a nine square grid, but my dyslexia just does not like moving stuff that way. Elevator shaft. Oh, that looks bad. It's too dark to see to the bottom. I need to see how deep the shaft goes. And also not climb on that ladder. Good to know. Okay, so we need a light source. Kerwin will no doubt be using this stuff again for a long time, unless I can restore Charles. I don't think that's a thing, lady. Oops. Hey, that must be phosphorus. It glows in the dark. Okay. Is that important? Oh, because I need to see the bottom of the thing. I knew that. I'm paying attention. Probably. Wait, I want to go back up. There's no way I can open this, and Charles, I mean Kerwin, is somewhere up there. Yeah, that's fair. Anything over here? Nope. Yeah, I don't get that. I mean, maybe because I'm just a woman? I don't know. Oh, that's pretty cool. I could really hurt my hand sliding down that cable. You could really die if you stay here. I mean, which one of those things is more important? Fine, we'll use gloves. That works too. I just figure we're kind of in a hurry. <gasps> Cthulhu! That is a very silly picture of Cthulhu. It looks like he's a mind flayer doing some sort of vaudeville skit. He's got a crown. Another basement. Well, I can't go back now. Maybe I can escape through here. The ladder completely fell apart from rust. What's this? What is that? It looks like a place for a lever. Can I use this? Yes. Yes, let's go into the Cthulhu dungeon. This is a good plan. What is that? Mechanism piece. Okay. Looks like an amp. Oh, an amp. It looks like a lamp full of oil. Um. Oh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one, guys. Dang it! Uh, well, I mean, that's what I'm basically doing. If the ones I already hit lit up, it would be easier. Tell us about the thing or the what's it. You want to be more specific? There are so many things and what's it is. No, I tried that one. Yay! I did it! It's that time. Oh, hi, Locke! Let's see, what is this? Flint. Okay, I have flint. Can I use that on this? Oh, well, that was nice of them. I don't think that's how that works, but sure. Well, this oh, is that a Medusa? Lovely. Doors don't have any handles. <laughs> I'm not really going to release Cthulhu into the world, am I? This lady is not smart. Okay, there's one puzzle there. And one there. Ah, this one must be the one that... Oh good, I get to make a spaceship. Can I turn these? Oh, that's actually worse. Alright, well you can't go there. Let go.
Anybody have any idea why it would be a good idea to release Cthulhu into the world? Because I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing. Okay, so how does that not fit there? Thank you. Stupid game. Um, so basically what happened, for those just joining us, um, for a minute, I thought it was going to make me start all over again, and I was going to be really angry. So, we finished the main game. What happened was, the um, experiment, or the ritual that we were trying to complete, um, was actually a thing that was completing the ritual. So, in reality, what we did was we helped the bad guy. And um, now our brother has been inhabited by the bad guy. This is actually extra gameplay, wherein we are trying to escape because the dude locked us in the basement with the elevator. Well, I almost got it. Oop. Wait, oh, there's the other one. I'm like, I just need one more. There it is. So, right now, what I think we're doing is we found a secret basement and we're accidentally going to unleash Cthulhu or something on the world. Because we just went through a gate that had Cthulhu on it. And now we're in a room with a mysterious lock. So, it seems like that is what's going to happen. Because apparently we're not very smart. At least that's what I think. I might be wrong. We might just be finding a secret exit that happens to look like a ceremonial hall where you would unleash Cthulhu. I mean, there's got to be lots of people who make that mistake. You know, confusing the two. People in horror movies slash games slash stories, they... they they have to have heard of some things like this happening before. If this kind of stuff exists in their universe, there has to be stories about why it's not a good idea to do the things that they are always doing. It seems very unlikely that this is the first time anyone has ever dealt with any of this. Is that a sword? No. Where's a sword? Oh, what am I looking for? A bug, too. I need a bug and a sword. There's a saw. Saw and sword sound the same. Ha 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 ha. Oh, there's a sword. Where's the bug? I don't see any bugs. Oh, there he was. I thought it might be in there, but I was clicking the wrong spot. A knife! Yay! Good, I'm gonna sacrifice something. That's a big bat of- big bat. A big vat of burning oil. Yeah, I know. We had that knife throughout the whole game. Okay, so I don't have. I, I. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, I can go back here. I don't know how that's helpful. Oh, I can grab the pipe. Okay. Can't do anything there. The only way forward is through here. Yeah, we had a pocket knife for the whole game, and then we lost it. Like in the last bit. Oh, there's a Dagon! Oh, good! This is good! We, we opened a doorway to Dagon. Why do we still think this might be an exit? Oh, boy. I mean, on top of being not that bright, this lady sure has bad luck, doesn't she? I still like the art assets in this game. They're very cool. And they're not reusing a lot between Find It puzzles, either. They tend to all be kind of the same. I mean, different. I know what I meant. Oh no! Bad Wi-Fi! 
Mine isn't, oddly enough. Oh, there's the rose. And the claw. Uh, I need a chain. And an onion. And a cicada. Which kind of cicada? A cicada with wings? Yes. The other kind is the crawly brown kind. And I just saw... Oh, there it is. <clears throat> I just saw the skull. A needle. There we go. Can we swap Wi-Fi? I don't think that would help the situation. Then I would be lagging. <laughs> Let's go towards the creepy mechanical mouth. How strange to find such a deep lake here. Why? Why are we doing this? Why are we fixing this? Oh my gosh. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. I'm just making the line. Look, I made a line. What am I supposed to be doing? Select a path that will allow the claw to reach the green, green claw at the bottom. Can it just go that way? Okay, but how do I make it do that? Huh? Did that make sense to you? Because it looks to me like these are pointing in a direction, but they're both pointing at the claw. That, that I was talking about a demo I played. This is the kind of thing I was talking about in that demo. Like the games made literally no sense. And this does not make a lot of sense to me. Okay, so it's gonna go this way and turn right, maybe? Then it'll turn left. And that won't work. Maybe go this way? I'm so confused. Yeah. Nah, I don't wanna do the guide. I hope it plays through because this doesn't make any sense. Go this way, maybe? Wow, I have no clue. Yeah, seriously. Aw, oh, it didn't show us how it worked. It's a claw game for Dagon. Oh my gosh, it's really a claw game for Dagon! <laughs> This is not the way out. There is no logical reason that this would ever be the way out. Like at this point, you just say, well, I guess I'm living down here forever and dying so I don't re release a um, horrible monster onto the world. You don't continue doing the puzzles. You just die and you're happy with it. What was that? It's a Dagon, right? I don't know why I expected it to be something different. And I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. I actually don't know how you pronounce it. Plates. This, no, no, that's uh, this one. Yep. It does sound like a fate curse. Dag, Nugget. <laughs> okay. So you, I think it started at the bottom. Wait, Wait what? Oh, 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 I have to do that. Okay, and then three, okay, etc. See, this one makes sense. Sort of. It made sense all the way until the end. I think I did it wrong. Dang. 
Okay. Oh, maybe this is the right one instead? Is that how this works? I don't know how this works. All right, so one, two, three. Nope, that's wrong. So let's do this one. Uh, two, three, and then there's four. One, two, three, four. And then two. Yeah, that one. Yeah, no, that one doesn't work. Okay. All right, so I guess it's the other side that I need to do then. Maybe? Oh, yeah, no, we go this way. Wait, no, because I needed three. I do three that way, I end up over here, and I need two X's, and then I can't get to the O's. This game at least makes sense. I just, I thought I got it right the first time too, but I just went the wrong way. So that's not right. See, this is where the problem comes in. I need to get two of these and then three of those. And I'm an idiot. There we go. No, I'm not an idiot. Wait, did that not work? Did that not work? Or do now I have to do this side? Yeah, okay, now I have to do this side. That's fine. Bizarre. And my dyslexia doesn't really like this game very much. I think I wanted to go the other way. Yep. Okay, so. What do I need? I need three to start with. So I have to go... Well, I don't have to go that way. I guess I could go this way. Yes, okay, good. Wait, that wasn't right! That looked extremely right to me. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. And then one, two, three. I'm reading this. Oh my gosh, my dyslexia. I was reading from there and then I went back down. <laughs> Right, okay, so no, that is not correct. Let's see, can we do it this way? Two, two. Then we have four. One, two, three. Then we get four. Good job, brain. Okay, now, Cthulhu! Wait, who are we unlocking then? That looks like Medusa. Medusa's not an elder god. Somebody with more lore knowledge than me needs to help out here. Unless we're going to release all of them. That would be even funnier. <laughs> I mean, it looks like Medusa, though. Is there a Medusa dude in, uh, or dudette, I guess? Why? Why would you think this is a good idea? Why? I got a rock. There's a coin jammed in there. I need to rotate the gears. Okay. Did I get a little baby Cthulhu? I did get a little baby Cthulhu! Huh. I have a gear. What is this? I can... By swinging the... Okay, let's do that then. Should I use the pipe? I don't know. What am I supposed to swing it with? I could throw rocks at it. <laughs> um, the coin jammed. I need to rotate the gears. If I do this, by swinging the pendulum, I can get the mechanism to move. So push it. I have rocks and a stick. I've got rope. Okay. Need to attach something heavy to the rope. Why? 
I need a bag to hold the rocks. Oh my gosh, you're so demanding. I mean, that would only swing... Oh, we only wanted it to swing once. Oh boy, my favorite. Ah, oh, wait, this isn't even fair. There's two things I have to line up for this one. Can I move them sideways? No. So that one's there. <gasps> Do we discuss how much I hate these puzzles? I figured out the last one. I don't remember if that was in this game, though. Yeah, you can tell which ones of these I would rather never see again for the rest of my life. That didn't help. Did I just put everything back the way it was? Snake discovery, but with elder gods? No, no, I, I, I don't think so. I want to move this one. Hmm. Okay. That almost worked. Oh, I think I got it. Yay, me! My kids have a game that's a board game. That is that game. It's called, like, Rush Hour or Traffic Jam or something. And it's a little plastic square. And they have all kinds of different cars of different colors. And you have to get one of the cars through all the traffic. And they love it. And I don't get it. <laughs> all right. And I have a knife, so I can make this start swinging, so that the mechanisms of evil awaken. This is such a bad idea. I've now started the Cthulhu clock. Excellent. Who's next? <laughs> a coin. Was that the first one? Yeah, that's the first one. Well, there's rats in the walls. We've got snakes, we've got spiders, we've got octopuses. I'm guessing it was here and he bu built the hotel on top of it, would be my guess. <sighs> oh, I already screwed up. Remember I said I could never get these on the first time? Try. The last time was a uh, fluke. Yeah, see? Now it's... Rawr! The last time there was more empty spaces, I think. I think there was more than one hole in between them. Maybe that's why I was able to get it on the first try. See if I move... Maybe I wasn't supposed to move that one. Hang on. You go that way. You go that way. You go there. That works. Okay, okay. I think I got it. Okay. Yay, I figured it out. See if I could do it twice in a row, because I bet I can't. And if I mess up, I'm screwed. I think I already messed up. Wait, no. I think I'm okay. No, I think I messed up. No, I can't move that one backwards, and I can't move that one forwards. I can move this one here, but then I... Yeah. I got this one! You guys saw me. There, I got both sections. I just got them separate from each other. I'm gonna say that counts.
We just have to wait for uh, the skip button to finish reloading. I did it! I just did it in two pieces. That is a really cool carving, though. Whoever did the art in this game did a really good job. Evil spider and his snakeses and the octopus and the rats. Ah! If the skip button ever finishes loading, it looks like it's at the top. Oh, wait, is it already loaded? I'm an idiot. I'm good at this. <laughs> game, you are not funny. All right, who's in here? The old ones! I just finished this story not that long ago. Uh huh. Well, I mean, from the Mountains of Madness, I assume. What on earth? Okay. Are these pairs that need to be next to each other, maybe? What are the instructions? Select the color of the monster's eyes so that all the listed color pairs are represented. Okay, yeah, I'm right. Okay, so we do start at the top, why not? Yellow, yellow. And then we have to do yellow, red. And then we need, where's another red one on the left? Then we need a red, yellow, good. And we need a yellow purple or a yellow green. Uh, let's do the yellow green next. And then we need a green purple. Oh, this is going to go backwards. Oh, my poor brain. Okay. Purple. And then a purple. Let's do purple purple. There we go. And then we'll do purple green. Or oh, should I start going this way? No. Don't mess myself up here. Wait, I do need a yellow on this side, though. There's only one with a yellow on that side, and it's a purple. There it is. Is there one with a purple on that side? Ooh, there is. So this one is yellow, too. Okay. So now we need a yellow on that side. So this is green. And then a green on that side. We've got three. So what do we got for purple on this side? That's that way. We do red, I guess. And then red on that side. Do a double red. Why not? And then. Yes, it is. How pleasant. There's only one red on that side, and that's this. No, that was the wrong one. Okay, well, whatever. Oh no, I'm doing it backwards already. Oh my gosh. Let's do the double green. And then a red. And then a purple. Yay, I got it, even though it went backwards. Oh, this looks lovely. I should block the wheel before trying to fix the mechanism. You keep saying stuff like that. Why did you turn it on if you needed to fix it? What's broken on it? The rod is broken. I mean, I just had a pipe. I think the pipe would have worked better, but I guess maybe the stick wouldn't have been able to stop the water wheel. <laughs> the water wheel is it? Maybe it will once I take the pipe out. You don't know. Nope, regular water wheel, lame. Okay, get yeah, bets on what the last one is going to be. Because I don't know where they're going with this. <laughs> There's an old one statue. Oh, what's in this one? The puzzle pieces for the last door. Okay, so any guesses on what... Wait, what was that big hole in the middle? Is that a thing? Nope, okay. So here's our last dude. Or doodad, I guess. Are any of them specifically gendered, actually? Okay. Oh, this is going to be a long time. Well, he was afraid of lots of things. Okay, do I have a one? There's a one in it. Okay, there's another one. I need a two. Do I have another? Yep. Okay. And a tick mark. And an empty space. This is the only one for that. 
Yes. Why is that one purple? Yeah, I know. I I have on occasion skipped multiples of these puzzles too, but I actually am trying to make this a decent playthrough. I don't get the color differences. It's weird. Sad face. <laughs> Be nice to each other in the comments. Or you'll get grounded. That's how this works. I'm a mom. I'm allowed to ground people. Box started it. <laughs> You too, I swear. I can though, I can ban you. Because I have authority. No, that's not nice. You can't have a snack, it's almost dinner time. Apparently we're having pork chops, if you happen to be in the area. <laughs> oh, there's one. You're already snacking. Well, it's a lot later for you, to be fair. It's all, it's not even six o'clock here. Where's this one? I think that's one okay. And yeah, 11 is a good time to snack. I mean, if you have to snack. I have to snack. I mean, I don't. I'm actually working on not eating instead of dealing with my feelings, which is annoying because then I have to actually figure out why I'm snacking instead of just snacking, which is not nearly as fun as just snacking. Snacking sounds better. I mean, it does, but that's part of the problem. This one, one, that's, and no, you have to have feelings. It's important. It makes us human. And apparently that's a good thing. You can't be a robot or a dragon or a dragon robot. Those are not currently options. So you instead have to um, be a person. And persons have feelings. I think I got it, guys. Probably shouldn't have said that out loud. Nope. Dang it. What's this one? Ah, crud. Hmm. Yeah, you can chat amongst yourselves while I'm doing the work here. That's fine. Don't let me interrupt you or anything. You're fine. I don't know. Wait, I don't know. Um, do you want to explain what we're talking about or no? No, anyway, let's get done. Let's see how much longer we can do this. That's not good to be done. I got four left over. Alright, <laughs> right. you are all blue footed boobies. I'm done. That was one level too hard for me. That was Cthulhu. That's the old ones. That's Dagon. Azathoth? Az Azathoth? Ah, yes, you should. Actually, The Worth of Hair is a really good book. And I'm going to allow that little bit of self-promo. Who's Azathoth? I don't think I've read that one. I guess I'll find out, won't I? She... Looks like a very grumpy octopus. Oh, I love the heads and the walls like that. That looks cool. Um, oh, I thought I was supposed to light that. Oh, these are those evil head things that were in the swamp. Um, the blind idiot god. Oh, okay. 
the publishers will f figure her out eventually and then we will all have lots of stories about robots that are awesome wow i never finished one of those that fast maybe i should pay less attention huh oh these are for wait what's who's that dude in the middle then he looks like an elephant with spider legs because i think the other little statues are supposed to go on here Freddie Mercury. That is not Fred. Well, okay. I actually don't know if that's Freddie Mercury, but he was still. No, he wasn't still alive at this point. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Here's Baby Cthulhu, which is actually adorable. Um, there's the old. Oh, uh, there's the old one, and then Azathoth, and then Dagon, who's pointing the wrong way. Yeah, who's this dude? He's got like a tentacle coming out of his chest and tripod legs. Like literally those look like the legs on legs on my tripod. They've even got those little bendy bits. I assume you are supposed to go over here. Yes. And actually, I think you're supposed to go there. And you switch with that. Oh, it's not by looking at order. Okay. Wait, maybe you don't go in the middle. How low or tall are these things supposed to be? Okay. No. You're the heaviest. I think. Or are you the heaviest? No, he's the heaviest, so I think he goes there. And wait, I think you go over here maybe? That's closer. I don't know. That's really close. Do I just switch these? Yes. But who's the dude there with the weird tentacle bursting out of his chest? I guess we'll find out in a minute, won't we? Oh yeah, this is such a bad idea. Is that a spoon? Oh, a ladle. Well, this is the extra boss, too, because this is after the game officially ended. I would bet money that the bad guy who has taken over my brother's body locked me down here so I would try to escape and accidentally open up the room of whatever lives in here. I could break the altar to make the light brighter. <sighs> yeah, I suppose you could. Oh good, I'm going to play a make the mirror puzzle. I turn- oh fudge, I can turn these. Poop. Um, let's get all the non-sides into the middle. That's a side. Maybe. Well, you go there anyway. This is definitely a side. Aha! Wait. Oh, no, it didn't actually click into place. Those two pieces go together, though. And those two pieces go together. Um. You go down there. You go over here? No. Yeah, how about up here? Nope. nope. Those two pieces don't go next to each other. Go up there? No. I don't know. No, no whistling. It's illegal. No, I wanted to put you down, not spin you. I figure if I'm not getting them in the right place, at least I can figure out which pieces they go next to. Aha! 
I got one. There we go. Okay, good. I think this one goes there. Yep. Nope, oh, that's not the right one, but those two go together. I'm gonna stay here for a minute. You stay there, you go here. this? That might have been it. I don't know. Nope, that's not it. Nope. There. You go over there. And you go over there. Okay, so let's see. This does not appear to be an edge piece, so you go up there. And you... Uh... An edge piece? That might be an edge piece. You go... Don't, don't eat cookbooks. You're supposed to make things from cookbooks and then eat those things. That, that's how cooking works. Eating cookbooks is not good eats. Ha! There we go. Uh, do I have that piece? Is this it? Yes! And then this piece goes up next to it. Come on, there we go. And then I need a little spiky bit. Is that this? Nope, that's not that one. Um, what about you? Do you just... No, we figure... Oh, you go here! Ah! Uh, uh, do you go there? Nope. Stop. Okay, perfect. Um... I don't know if you're an edge piece or not. You go there. Perfect. You are not an edge piece. You are not an edge piece. You are probably not an edge piece. Okay. So what do we got here? I'm missing an edge piece that is long and fat. Is this you? I think it is. Maybe? Nope. Okay. Not it. Do -do -do. I don't think that's it either. Did I just do that? I probably did. I need, I need a little pointy corner piece. Where's that little pointy corner piece? That's this one. Aha! Now I need a little one that looks like a duck head. Come back. Or what else do I got? I got a little fat one here. Oh, that's you. It is. There you go. You, you you are not allowed to um, barbecue people. I'm not sure what you guys are talking about now. I'm only looking down like every couple of minutes. <laughs> not sure what you're up to, but it sounds sus. Yeah, I know. Wait, what? The top right? Why? Oh. <laughs> Shut up. Thank you. One of those two things, or both of them. Uh, we, you would never eat people? That's good to know. I, I'm cool with that. Well, I didn't say eat each other, I just said eat people. Hence my concern. <clears throat> This one? Yes. Yes, we had the Eat the Rich discussion already this stream, I think. I still think I wouldn't want whatever they have, like, disease-wise. Who knows what they eat? Ah ha ha ha! You're not allowed to stab people. That's literally illegal. Okay. Is 
Is this going to be one of these? You have to tap everything in the right order. These puzzles are so pointless. Oh, okay, so it's only going to be every other thing. That's fine. That doesn't look like Cthulhu. What does that look like? Oh, no, I was wrong. See, my brain doesn't remember what order I do things in. Okay, so it's not all on one side either. Brilliant. This is literally just a waste of time. I'm definitely skipping this one. Did I do that one already? I hate this. This is literally just busy work. Like when the teacher gives out crossword puzzles, because it's the end of the day. Skip. Hard skip. Okay, that is Cthulhu. It was just positioned weird. Oh, okay. This kind of puzzle, I don't mind. This is a picture of the... Wait. Okay. This is a picture of the front of the house. You are around there somewhere. Oh, yeah. Or like a coloring page or connect the dots or something stupid. Oh, no, you stay right there. That's fine. Like, I realize they're tired of school as much as the kids are, but still, put a little effort in. Or, if you're not going to put any effort in, don't do anything. Oh, yeah. Dude, in my uh, sophomore year biology class, we, honest to goodness, had to color in a picture of a cell and label all of the different parts. Like in crayon. Sophomore year of high school. Yeah, movies were, you had to like justify movies though. You didn't have to justify the busy work stuff. No, I was right the first time. Like there had to be a reason for a movie. You couldn't just like say, F it, we're not doing any more work today. Which I'm sure lots of the teachers wanted to do at times. I, oh, for heaven's sakes. I know I did. All right, I only want to have to move all of these once. I think this one goes there. Yep. I'm one off on this whole huge section here. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm two off on the entire thing. Bloody hell. No, and I just did it backwards. <laughs> what is going on? Why am I getting this wrong? You go there? Yes, thank you. <sighs> I'm not giving this game the satisfaction. Thank you. This is such a bad plan. At this point, you've got to know that there is no way on earth this is a way out. We're trying to find a way out. Did you, I don't know if you missed that part too, Locke. We're trying to find a way out of the basement. And for some reason, our main character thinks this is a good idea and that this is totally going to get us out of the basement. Oh, if I could do it a little bit longer, that would have worked. Let's see. You go. I need to be able to pull them farther. Oh, hang on. Make a circle. Okay. You go over there. And you go over there. Yeah, I mean, you do anything. I mean, if you think that you're going to make the situation worse, which I don't know why you wouldn't think that then why not just admit defeat and just curl up in a corner and die instead of dooming the rest of humanity to be infested with 
whatever the heck we're unleashing here. You know? Kind of selfish. Oh, I did that wrong. Um, talk on. Can we? That work? Okay, good. Yeah, this is definitely a good plan. This is a steam machine. I need fire and water to make it work. This door is controlled by a steam machine. I don't know why you think this is a good idea. Oh wait, wrong room. Where's... Oh, where's this one? Um... Why can't I take water out of the, uh... Water? With the ladle? Huh. Oh! Okay, maybe I need to do that first. We're putting the fire in the ladle and we're putting the water in the incense burner. Good, sure. Okay. Let's let's do that. That makes perfect sense. Okay, still don't know. That's not the exit. Screw you. I have to get away from here and head to the town. What is that? It looks like a car. No, this is definitely newer because there's like lots of electricity and stuff. Has a soul to save. I don't know what she said at that last bit. I wasn't paying attention. So that giant thing in the basement wasn't to release any sort of monster. It was literally an exit from the basement. Remember how I said this game made more sense than the last one? and had a better plot, this particular part does not fall into that category. Wow. Oh, I got achievements. It's so funny, this one has achievements, but all of the achievements are um, for, well, not all of them, but most of them are for completing things that you have to do in the game, which isn't really an achievement. Yeah, time traveling hotel. Maybe it will make a reappearance. Who knows? Are any of the elder gods in charge of time? Right, let's close out of this. Right, so that was uh, Haunted Hotel 4, uh, Charles Dexter Ward. That was the third episode, and it's done now, including the extra um, gameplay. They probably eat time. They probably do. Tastes like strawberries. I mean, maybe. Yes, yeah, so uh, we're done with that one. That was definitely a thing that happened. So we're going to do a couple things next, now that we're done with that one. We're going to do the next um, Haunted Hotel, which is... Haunted Hotel 5 is called Eclipse. My notes on this game, because apparently I played it before, or at least the demo, are MAKES NO SENSE in capital letters. And monster battle, question mark, question mark, question mark. So that'll be fun to figure out. Who knows what I'm talking about there. And um, we finished the last Hidden Mysteries game that we were doing. So we're done with that one. I don't know if I'm going to do another one of those right away, but I will do eventually. However, I've decided that I want to replay the Mystery Case Files games. Because I own two-thirds of them, maybe? And I've played half of them, which I'm not entirely sure how that happened. So 
I'm going to start at the first game, and there are currently 21 Mystery Case Files games. So this will be one that we're doing for a while in, uh, like, every other game with Haunted Hotel. And let's see, I don't think there's any newer ones. So the first Mystery Case Files game came out in 2005, which is crazy. And yes, the most recent one is from September 2020, and that's The Harbinger. So we're going to do those. We're going to do um, the Haunted Hotel, the fifth one, and maybe do like a random one in there too. I wanted to finish that Hidden Verse game that I had been playing, even though it's ridiculous and silly. And maybe I'll do another random one. I don't know. It, these these um, games are kind of interesting in that there are very few that are standalone. They're mostly series. I mean, most of the games are standalone, like you can play them without having to have known what happened in the last one, but most of them are like big series. And the ones that aren't are generally not very good because there's a reason they only made one or two of them. Ah, uh, so we'll see what goes on next, but that's the plan at the moment. I'm supposed to go eat dinner? I wasn't looking at you, I was looking at my gigantic list. <laughs> <clears throat> it is, in fact, 623 here on the eastern coast of the United States, and uh, my compatriot Otpunk is telling me I need to go eat dinner. So I should probably do that. Uh, yeah, good plan. Good talk. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Fate Touched, and I will see you later. Bye!